In this lecture, we look at how currents create magnetic fields. We'll consider a current loop with the long sides parallel to the north. First, we're, we lay out the wire, and we lay the long side parallel to the direction of Earth's north. There's no current flowing through this wire yet. And then we put two compasses on, on the two long sides of the wire, so that the red needle which of the compass points north parallel to the wire. When we turn on the current, we see that the needles of the compasses are deflected. The one on the right points to the right, the one on the left points to the left. The difference between the two is that the current in one case is flowing north, and whereas on the, on the right hand side, on the left hand side the current is flowing south. We'll see how that in a second, see how that uh, uh, changes the deflection. If we were to look at the current of a single wire, we find out that the bead field is circularly symmetric around the, the axis of the, of the current carrying wire. If you did the experiment, which was done in a YouTube ex uh, video by Paul Hewitt, where you can, which you can find at this uh, website. There you see that the current is flowing through this large uh, bar in the center of the picture, and all the compasses in, that are laying on the table there are arranged circularly around this bar, and you see the needles are pointing in a circular way around the bar, as, like shown in the diagram. The general rule is that if you put your thumb in the direction of the current and your fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field around the current carrying wire. So that the width, if you go back to our simple circuit, if you point your thumb north and your fingers curl around the right hand wire, you see that your fingers will be pointing to the right, deflecting the red needle to the right. If you point your thumb south, like on the left hand wire, your fingers will curl around and they're on top of the wire, they're pointing to the left, deflecting the needle to the left. Let's look at the magnetic field of a long current carrying wire in more detail. Consider a small piece of, of a current carrying wire. We see this blue wire with the current flowing through it. And a small piece of it is DS, which is indicated by the DS with a vector hat on top. The vector points in the direction of the current carrying wire for that small piece of wire. It's going to produce a small part of the magnetic field dB at point P where we like to measure it. There is a vector R which points from this element of wire to the point P. There is a law known as the Biot-Savart law which is uh, given by, that gives this the B field in terms of these quantities. The dB vector is equal to mu zero over four pi times the current times the cross product of dS and R divided by the magnitude cubed of the R vector. Mu zero is known as the permeability and it's equal to four pi times ten to the minus seven Tesla's meters per amp. In general, if you're trying to figure out the magnetic field from the whole wire, the geometry makes it very complicated. But there are some simple cases where it is easier to figure it out. In which case, one of them is a long, very long, straight current carrying wire. So if we have a long wire, and we use our, we, the result ends up being the magnitude of the, this current carrying wire is equal to mu zero times the current divided by two pi divided by the magnitude of r, the radial distance from the wire to the point where the magnetic field is measured. The direction is again given by the right hand rule so that you put your thumb in the direction of the current, your fingers curl around the wire so you get this circular pattern of the beat field. Let's go ahead and try different uh, values of these quantities. Let's hold the current fixed at one amp 
and change b and look at b at the, for different values of the magnitude r, the, the distance from the wire. If we're one meter away from the wire, then the, then the field is 2 times 10 to the minus 7th Tesla, very small. If we're about a centimeter away from the wire, we, the field grows to 2 times 10 to the minus 5th Tesla. And if we go all the way to within, within 2 millimeters of the wire, we get to 1 times 10 to the minus 4 Tesla, or which is about the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. So we're finally getting to something that a compass can see easily. So it's not a very strong field.